Hi friends, welcome back or welcome to my channel. I am Melissa and you are at Melissa's Corner. Today I'm going to take a little spin on a video that was done by the lovely Ivana of My Pursuit of Happiness. She had a video that would just came out and was on her 10 sleeper handbags. The ones that are just kind of in the closet and you haven't touched them or brought them out in a while. Now, I probably have more than 10, but we're not going to we're not going to dabble and dip into those today, but I'm going to the ones that are the most neglected, I'm going to share with you guys. So, let's get started on the first bag. It is a Brahmin. Yes, my Brahmin bag. It is a gorgeous bag. I love this bag. I don't know why. She has been sitting over on the shelf over there um, with all of her other friends. And uh, I have I have not carried this bag in a couple of years. Honestly, it's been a couple of years. No particular reason, none at all. She is gorgeous. I have a matching wallet to go with her. I had considered rehoming her and moving her along. But I, she's too pretty. I would regret it. So I'm going to be keeping her. But yeah, I've got to get her into my rotation. She's just gorgeous. She has her little Brahmin tag right here. Um, shoulder crossbody strap. She's just a really, really nice bag. And she is the only Brahmin I have. So yeah, this girl's got to wake up. We're going to wake her up and give her some little swig of coffee and get her all perky and she's going to be going out for a spin real soon so that's the first my brahmin the next one it's kind of interesting i haven't had it that long i've had it about six months and her tags are still on her okay minus the the bear let's take the bear off so it doesn't uh but she still has her tags She's been sitting, just sitting. This is the Dunium Burke Dillon double pocket satchel in the jean color. She still has her original packing inside, the dust bag and the plastic and everything that she came in all in this bag. I just have not taken her out. So that's a shame, right? This is a shame. This is a gorgeous girl. She is so pretty. She deserves to go out. Um, so I got to wake her up. She's been napping a little bit too long. We need to get rid of those tags and get her out and about and take her in the wild because she really needs, she needs a day out. She does. She's been, you know, she's getting cabin fever. She's been in this uh, house way too long all winter. So if we get to my number three, this is my coach. It is a tote and it is the Marley tote. And it was from the outlet. It does have the chain straps here and the leather on the top with a zipper and a nice pocket in the back. She's a great tote. She hits all of, all of my check marks for a tote. She even has feet. I don't know why I have not grabbed this tote to carry, but I'm definitely going to get her out. I mean, we're, we're going on Valentine's Day. This is a gorgeous red bag. So yeah, time to wake up. Yes, you, she's got to get up. Just like kids, when you got to get them up for school, you got to, time to get up, rise and shine, yes. This bag I have had for eons, eons. You know how long an eon is? It's really long. It's like a eon, eon, oh. But it's this bag here. It is a coach bag. I do not know the name for this. The, she reminds me a bit of the Lori. Um, and I'm not sure if she was boutique or if she was outlet. I just don't remember. It says coach right here. It's a really nice, soft, mushy, luscious, pebbled leather. And when you open her up here, she's all stuffed right now, but she has these two big openings right here. And then this center zipper compartment 
it is a very comfy, comfy bag. And of course she has the magnets at the top. She still has her little um, coach tag. Fits on the shoulder really nice and comfortable. Uh, yeah, it just kind of smooshes and jizzes down into your, into your arm. So this is a great bag. Again, why? You know, I'm going to probably tell you it's been at least 10 years since this bag has been been carried. So I need to get her out. So wake up, wake up. She's got to get, you know, get start getting her eyes open because she's going to go for a spin. So we just went through four bags. I have a few more here to share with you guys of the bags that are still sleeping. Some of them just kind of blow my mind. Why? I don't know. This is a gorgeous black. Um, it's kind of like it's a satchel, but it's a shoulder bag too. The, this strap is too short for crossbody. But look, she's got this gorgeous like snake print on her. It goes all the way over there and there it says coach. And then it's all on the bottom. This nice pebbled leather here. And it's the same on the back and her hang tag, I do believe. She, she still has, yes, she does. It's over here. She has one of those uh, black tags and then the gold tag on here. But this is a beautiful bag. Not a scratch on her, not a mark. I mean, really just like brand new. And this is an old bag. I'm going to, I'm going to tell you, it's probably been 10 years since she has been out of the house. So she really has a bad case of cabin fever. She's really wanting to get out and about. So wake up, wake up, because you're going to have a chance to, we're going to get you guys all back in the rotation. You're too pretty just to be sitting and not go out and have some fun, right? Okay, so that was five. Now the rest of these bags, they've been sitting too. Some longer than others. I think the 10 years is the most. Well, maybe, let's see. Ooh, this one's been sitting for probably 15 years. Okay, so this one's gonna take the cake. This is my uh, Max New York. They don't even make these anymore, but it was made in Italian leather. It's a satchel, no crossbody, anything like that. It has great hardware and feet at the bottom. Um, she's just, she's a gorgeous bag. I love to set her on the shelf because, I mean, she's a big pop of color. So when she's sitting there, she just makes me happy to look at her. There's memories attached to this bag too. So... I don't know. I just, I love her. I think maybe this spring we're going to, we're going to get her out. I don't care if they make Max New York or not. This is a great quality bag and um, she'd be fun to take out and about. So yes, she's been asleep. So wake up. You can have a little nap, but you got to get up pretty soon. You can go back to sleep for just a little while. Go ahead and set her here. Then then this bag. This one here has been, oh, probably three years since I have pulled this bag out to use it. And for no reason, there's no reason for any of these, except I get caught up in all the other things that are coming in. And then I carry them and then I'll take those and then they'll go on the shelf. And sometimes the same thing will happen to them. So what I really need to do is start enjoying some of the ones that I have that I haven't carried in a while because there's, there's, it's silly. It's just silly that I have not taken any of these bags out. They're still gorgeous. Uh, this one here is my Patricia Nash and this is three years. She's in this beautiful braided gold, kind of a bronzy leather. She has, uh, charms that are right here 
zipper top, the rolled handles, nice big pocket on the back and a big pocket on the front. And she fits like a glove uh, under, under the arm on the shoulder and she's soft and she molds and she has all the goodness, the soft leather. She still smells divine. Yes, she still smells yummy. And uh, she's just, look, she still has her feet, everything. Nothing wrong, not a rip, not a tear, not a, a smudge on corner wear or dirt or wear. She's just like brand new. So I got to get her and wake her up because I know the... Um, the uh, woven leathers have been really popular. I've been seeing a lot of the woven leather bags online. So I have one. I just need to use it. So there she is. And then these other two, It's it's been two years. Yeah, I've got two and I'll, I'll just show them both at the same time because they're, they're kind of one in the same. And I just don't know why but they're gorgeous. These are the Kurt Geiger. This is the rainbow, and this is in the rainbow, but it's in some of the darker colors, but it has a solid back and a solid bottom, and it has the um, gunmetal color for the chain and the hardware and the eagle right there. And then its sister here is also in the gunmetal. But on her little pretty head, you've got all of the different colors of the rainbow. Rhinestones right here and yellow here. It's also on the back. Um, yeah, gotta wake up, wake up, wake up. Because if these ones don't wake up, they're going to have to go. So we'll have a decision there. But I wanted to share this with you. I'm going to be tagging Ivana at um, my pursuit of happiness for this video because it was a great idea and it was a lot of fun. So I'm going to see and talk to you guys in my next video. But please remember to like, subscribe, leave me a comment, and I'll see you next time. Bye!